Today I want us to explore twins in depth and more so fraternal twins. Dr. Unati here. Let's dive into it. Today we're going to talk about fraternal twins, specifically the heteropaternal superfecundation. Fecund means fertility, producing ability to produce offsprings. You know, I was actually looking at the literature of this condition, the, heteros, uh, the heteropaternal superfecundation. It's been happening actually for years. It's just that it's not something we tap into it more often in the medical community. But lately it has become something that we talk about because of either there's some disputes between the couples. Let's get into it. Basically, we have twins from two men different fathers. It means two eggs are fertilized by two different sperms. We know that in fraternal twins, usually it's usually the regular fraternal twins we know about. It's the same father just fertilizing two different eggs, but still same mother and same father. But this one I want to specifically talk about is two fathers fertilizing two eggs, meaning two sperms fertilizing two eggs. Yes, I just said that. The situation here is usually it occurs in situations where a mother or a woman has multiple partners. We all know that sperms survive five days inside a womb, inside a woman's womb, so they survive for five days. So usually it happens that a woman during her ovulation period has intercourse with two different men. Yes, I just said so. So it's very common. A case that came about when they first noticed this, it was back in the States in the 90s, where there was a dispute between couple between a couple and the father was not sure if the kids were his. And indeed, they went for paternity test. Hmm, really, there was 50% chance that one twin was his and the other one was not his. How does that happen? Yes, it is possible, guys. Basically, like I said, fraternal twins, it's usually, normally, it is the same father with two sperms fertilizing two eggs. In this case, two men sleep with one woman. One man fertilizes one egg and then the other man fertilizes the other egg. How on earth do the communities, the medical communities realize this? It's because we've noticed that a lot of times in maybe the disputes between couples, maybe people leave their homes and live at hotels, they kind of meet new partners. That's mostly the high possibility, which they've seen lots of that happening in China. And there could be more of these uh, incidents if we were testing them, but they not necessarily tested. There's a lot of fraternal twins, as we all know, out in the world, but no one really does these paternal tests. But there could be more numbers, right? I mean, it, there's some studies that show it's one in 400 pregnancies, which I'm pretty sure there could be more numbers if we were doing these tests. So it's basically you're doing the paternity test from the buccal cavity, you check the DNA testing, and bingo, that's how actually fathers get to know about the paternity or the authenticity of the pregnancies of their women. So guys, if you have any question, drop questions here. I am not bringing any uh, disputes amongst couples, but it's always important to know that this is possible. If you have any queries, you, you probably have your gut feeling tells you that there could be something not necessarily sitting well in your system about the pregnancy of your wife or your, your woman. These are possibilities. There are fraternal twins that could be produced by two men with one woman. I can't wait to hear what your thoughts are. Let's talk about it. It is possible to do these tests and find out. And honestly, there could be more numbers if we're doing tests. It is definitely happening. A lot of countries are doing these tests now because, like I said, there's a lot of disputes between couples or maybe there's um, uncertainty within your own marriage. Maybe the father isn't sure if this one of the kids, maybe not really connecting. You know, a lot of people, they do have that superpower instinct. Sometimes it because that they're not connecting with the other child. So that's how these tests come about. I can't wait to hear your comments down here.